a little bit. He could get his synapse, although he's using the charge there to escape. So he could turn around and actually kill that force commander. These Chaos Space Marines getting out just barely. 75 health on one model. And here goes the Librarian. Who has been upgraded with his force staff. I think we may have missed the force barrier. This is a pretty good decision, leaving this tax squad in, but now we should retreat now that there's actually a threat. And they do get out of there. They did lose their sergeant, though. It's like going to be a bit of a costly loss there. Meanwhile, we've got the Tyranids ganging up on this dreadnought, crushing claws here. Hormagon's got a little a bit of way there, and the, ultimately the Tyranid's going to be driven back. Tire guard's quite low on health, but if he just could go into his shell here. Oh, there's, there's the melta bomb. Get in your shell, get in your shell. Oh, he's down. These Hormagons should have gone for the attack marines here while the hive tyrant helped push the, the dreadnought. Nice warrior brood call in right on those sniping scouts. And this dreadnought's in a lot of trouble. And there it does go down. The gene stealers are able to effectively drive off all the, the rest of these units. They are still able to reinforce from the warrior brood call in. Only the ravener brood call in was nerfed in the last patch. It's not a lot of reinforcement. The librarian's taking an odd retreat path. Warrior Brood upgraded with adrenal glands. The tech marine has been outfitted with the signum armor, the plasma gun, and the orbs of Omnissiah. And is level three. Hero levels are all pretty, pretty equal. Only the Chaos Lord is still level two, but he is almost level three. Scouts ran up here and decapped both these wreck points. That is a really good use of those scouts from Wizard Lizard. It seems like Squiddy keeps getting uh, lured into Werewolf SS's base, where he's then forced to retreat everything. It's it's unfortunate when you let some stuff get ahead, then you end up engaging with half your army here with the turrets, and then half your army here as the rest retreats through. And meanwhile, Werewolf had all his stuff together. They did manage to de decap this power generator, however, pay him back a little bit for when they took this generator. Although at this point, Red Team is not worried about power. Chaos Lord charging around. He does have the Drain Life icon of corn there. And the Armor of the Inferno and Lightning Claws. Nice Light the Galaxy burn there. The Tech Marine's gonna try to come in to save the day. But he is in a bad spot. Fortunately, there's still no heretics to help the Chaos Lord out here. Switch target, switch target, switch target. Oh, a little bit too late there. Switch target again. Get these guys. Ah. Well, they're decapping the point again. And now we're recapping this victory point. But blue team is in a bit of a bind here. Under 60 victory points while red team is still at 341. And here they come. Push against the cap this point as well. They can't afford to lose any more victory points after this. If the nodes go in red team's favor once again, the blue team will be able to, uh, to kiss their kiss their victory goodbye. Their hopes at victory, that is. A bit of a problem here. You don't want to clump up like this. You only need one, one squad to cap. 
I don't know. Oh, that attack was trying to ninja that point. But with three Chaos Marine squads, two Zinch and one Corn, bit of a tall order to go into there. Again, this might not doing a terrible lot to Chaos Marines. They are low count high HP models. Oh, the sergeant goes down again for these attack marines, and the whole squad may go down. Oh, he barely goes around this wall. And here we got a Tyranna formation. Uh, mass retreat, not really the best plan for Tyranna formation, as you can't really guess where your units are going to go. But once Tyranna formation is cast, you have a pretty good idea of where all the pillars are going, so if you just run through here at any speed, you will not take any damage. I think it would be best for Squiddy to go for the middle here and help uh, be near to his allies so their armies can join up a little bit. Um, however, he's a little bit afraid of them losing this point again. As before, as I stated, if they, the victory points favor red again, blue will have no hope. Alright, here comes Werewolf SS. He does have Plasma Devastators now that they are set up a little far back. There's a pretty nice sight line right here that a uh, long range setup team or sniper can use pretty effectively on this map. That looks like an orbital strike, and it is. Does manage to catch one squad. The Plague Marines there. And as they explode, they heal each other. <laughs> the squad still survives losing one member. Um, this gas waste marine squad is down two, as it has been marked targeted. The librarian's pursuing a little bit too far there. Manages to get out without being suppressed. Meanwhile, this chaos lord is wreaking havoc on that tech marine. Librarian engaging on plague marines with the chaos lord on him is not going to work out in your favor, as when plague marines die, they do simply explode on your face here in melee. We have a swarm lord out now for a squiddy. Meanwhile, werewolf is just a quarter of the way, well, about a third now to tier three, and Marsh CT hasn't even started it. There's a bit of a mistake there from red team, I think. When they had a huge advantage, that's a really good time to go tier three. Attack Marines trying to stay in a melee against the Chaos Lord having activated their withstand ability. He's activated as well, but they did not need to. Um, not sure if I like this base attack. It's a little bit reckless as there's only the Hive Tyrant and the Swarm Lord here, and we do have Melta Bombs going off, we do have Plasma Devastator. And we do have the Force Commander, although you can't see his icon, with the Power Fist, Armor of Alacrity, and an Iron Halo. So the Swarm Lord, you pop Strain Life. Um, pretty good time to pop it. And we do have a Carnifex on the way as well. And the rest of the army is joining in now, except for these Gene Stealers who are suspiciously absent, preferring to cowardly hide in this crater instead of engaging in the battle. Uh, meanwhile, these warriors are suffering pretty greatly and are outside the reinforced radius of the Swarm Lord. Hive Tyrant trying to take out this turret, but quite low on health himself. Does manage to take it down. Swarm Lord trying to run away. Oh, there goes the Melta Bomb. Is he going to live? No, his health is too low. It goes off and he explodes. Collapses. And the Carnifex realizes maybe this wasn't such a safe engagement after all. Meanwhile, the Chaos Lord did go down over here, and we do have a Tech Marine Tarantula turret being put up on this point. Pretty clever for it to go in this li in this late game. Uh, the Chaos Dreadnought, however, is going to pose a big threat to Wizard Lizard's army here, as he does not have any dedicated anti-vehicle. 
Um, this librarian is a bit suicidal, thinking it can charge in and... There's a marked target on the Chaos right now, but there is nothing to attack it. Uh, meanwhile, this Tech Marine does go down. Another turret here on this point. Missed that one. Very effective way of stopping that ninja cap. And there go the Sniper Scouts and a GG from Red Team. Blue Team's managed to turn this one around. And if I may say so, Squiddy had mm, pretty much all melee squads except this one Termagant brood the whole time. That worked out pretty well. So, this was a pretty, um, I would say, mid-level game, you know, uh, I, I don't know for sure what the ratings of any of these players are as the 3.17 beta is out now and a lot of people have reset their ladder standings. Um, I think, if I had to guess, they would be in the, the mid-1000s, um, I apologize if that's not accurate, if it's too high or too low. But uh, it was a pretty entertaining game, and that Squiddy managed to make a melee build work. Uh, meanwhile, his ally Wizard Lizard did pull off some pretty sneaky stuff. But uh, all in all, what we gathered from that round is, once again, uh, teching early is not such a good idea as Squiddy did, as that underpowered him against his opponent for a little while there, his pair in the 2v2 lane. However, when you have an advantage, as Red Team did for a while there, it's best to push it with a bit of attack there. If you don't need more units in that tier, then don't buy them. And we can see the the units tab is actually pretty heavily in favor of red team. And yeah, so that is game one for episode six, so join me in game two. Thank you.